Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain you how to join our Discord community, what it is, what it's meant to be doing, how you can progress throughout um, positive exchanges without, uh, within this community, uh, how the different uh, channels uh, are working, where you can post, not post, what are the rules you need to follow. So we're going to try mixing all of this in a single video so you can take the best out of this Discord community. So let's get it started. First of all, uh, we need to explain what Discord is. Uh, obviously, some people don't know anything about it, so we're going to try setting ground basis rules in here. So Discord is a tool, uh, is some kind of uh, 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 better chat system than the one existing, as you're going to have multiple channels and stuff like that. We'll see that uh, later on. So Discord has three supports, uh, which means the first one is a web-based uh, version of it that you can join using simply your browser, so Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever you could be using. Uh, uh, so um, web-based version doesn't require a, a single installation of whatever asset uh, or whatever uh, program or, or stuff like that just your browser will be enough then there is what we call a desktop version that you can install on your windows or macbooks uh, or, or mac os's uh, purely and simple this is free it's really easy that's what i'm using right in here uh, so it has is its own independent window uh, on, um, on your operating system uh, and you also have a mobile version for both Androids and uh, Apple phones. So um, the difference between them is that the desktop version uh, is pretty much more handy than it is using in a web-based version, obviously, and the uh, mobile version is most likely useful to get notifications straight throughout your phone. And that is really great because some part of this channel is going to be an alert system that I'll explain in which I can give you some potential trade opportunities. And if you want to receive those notifications, and that's absolutely real time, I press enter, you get the notification even alpha second uh, later. So uh, really real time stuff that's absolutely free, all right, and always will be this is not just a hooking stuff uh, for a free month before getting it paid it's always and forever will be free uh, this is no hook to get to the indicators absolutely not this uh, this is just a community for the best to help people working together to just progress all together all right so we'll talk about this later on anyway how do you get into discord once you've chosen either uh, the mobile version or the desktop version or you want to stick to the web-based version first to have a glimpse of how this thing works so in order to get into pro indicators discord channel you're going to require an uh, uh, an activation link some way or just a link that you paste in here when you just get into discord they will ask you for this or you simply follow those links you'll find them pretty much everywhere i get to post uh, you got it into my trading view profile you get it below each and every uh youtube video description uh, you got it on the website so it's an open link free for everyone to join all right all we ask in here is just a few verification from your account it's going to require a phone number uh, verified to get to join this discord uh, then you just paste this link in here or just follow the link it will put you into discord and you said join all right once you get there you're welcomed into this uh, new channel all right so you'll have this pro indicator channel in here and you get ending up in here with this all right which is the start in here uh, stuff uh, though you start here and you just follow this simple step you're gonna select your language preferences because this discord is multilingual so uh, you can use both um, English language French language and soon to come Russian language version of it you can you can go for multiple choices obviously you're free to do it all right and it's a uh, checkable positive and unpositive obviously which means you can select French unselect it get to select English unselect it whatever all right the live room is said to be uh, used only to people who registered so as long as you haven't been registering you cannot join the live room I just simple simply ask you to choose a language first Live rooms, we're going to talk about them later, are just audio channels in which people can freely exchange and talk in real time. And these are obviously a channel I can get you uh, a notification to get down to when I want to talk to you uh, directly. So this is real time chatting with audio, basically. Uh, but this, it, this goes way beyond that. So let's say in here, we're going to talk about the English version of it. So you click English, all right? Then you see a number of channels have been uh, um, activated all right 
basically that's a bug you shouldn't nearly see this channel I'll delete that that's probably a permission issue anyway so now multiple channels are accessible so we're gonna describe what those channels are so uh, first thing first uh, we're gonna set some notification uh, rules because that's really important uh, that's the the actual benefit of this thing is that I can send you direct push notifications, uh, instant notification when I have something that you might be interested about. All right, so I'm not doing this all day long. With, with Pro Indicator subscriptions to some channels, uh, you'll simply receive like two, three notifications a day at best, rarely more than that, uh, and you can switch on and off all of those uh, subscriptions at any time. So if you receive too much notification or if you get on some holiday, you want to turn everything off, it can be done really simply. So we're going to do this straight away because that's the first thing you want to be doing when you get to join this Discord. You're going to go, oh, sorry, not there. You're going to go in here and as you can say, Pro Indicators, you go this down arrow and if you want to quit the server this is how you're going to be doing this but in here we take care of uh, the notifications parameters so you get there and this is how you're going to get I'm sorry this is French I wish I could have it in English but I'm going to translate it so in here is just mute pro indicators which means you go on some vacation you want to turn down notification and don't be bothered you just do this all right obviously you can turn down notifications from your phone temporarily and you can say all right I don't want any discord notification when I'm off for some vacations uh, anyway you know how to turn off notifications on your phone I guess so that's a simple switch, all right? temporary switch, you can switch on and off. And then this is how it goes. You can choose to receive notifications on at mentions only because people can send you direct messages or send ping messages by using this anchor. So using the anchor plus your name, people can directly message you throughout those servers and you'll receive a notification. When someone is talking to you, you might want to be aware of it, all right? Simple as that. You don't necessarily want that. So you can turn down to nothing Right? I'll explain you how those things work, uh, but preferably I think at mention is what you want to get. You can deactivate at everyone and at here that are specific ping messages uh, that can be sent to users actively logged in into a specific channel or uh, at everyone when people want to say overall message. But I put it some restrictions, which means only the moderators and just a few people can use this at everyone. So you can choose to deactivate it, but normally you shouldn't receive too much notification regarding this one. So you can let it on, uh, or you can turn it off, obviously, if you want. I strongly invite you to use notifications, a push notification on the mobile phones. Uh, this is this one, and you can choose to turn it off. Obviously, that's your own discretionary uh, decision. But what you're going to care about doing is doing this. You're going to select the channels and select those with emojis. I made it co color code some way. So those color emojis are channels in which you might consider wanting to receive notifications, right? Not just at mentions. So these ones are considered like an override, right? So what you're going to be doing in here is simply this. Uh, by default is set to add mention because that's what you said you're not receiving any notification unless you've been mentioned by the one sending the message but in educational content video what you're going to be doing is selecting all I'm going to tell you what this is because educational channels are just channels in which just me and a bot uh, reposting the YouTube content can post on those channels so you're not going to be notified twice a day or ten times a day so it's going to be a little once in a while when there is some educational content shared throughout the community all right so you can override for all those channels all right so announcement is where I'll get to send you notifications about indicator updates or stuff like that so you definitely want to be notified about this so I strongly recommend that you set those things to uh, every uh, type of notification each time a new message is posted and like I said only me can post in them and I make sure that I don't post too much to avoid multiple ping messages and then you've got the swing alerts and intraday alerts so it's up to your own decision in here whether you want to be notified with them or not if you don't want to be uh, receiving any swing alert you just turn it off all right and if you just want intraday you turn this one on all right pure and simply all right that's how you go you're going to be doing these things all right but if you don't want to receive swing alert make sure you select nothing because if you select just at mention which is by default I'm using this at everyone stuff in those channels so if you don't want to receive swing notifications make sure you turn them off all right that's really important 
Then you decide, all right, which one you want to be turned on or turned off. As for example, you're just a swing trader and you don't give a shit about the intraday. That's how you're going to be doing this. Right? That's the setup you want. If you're interested in both, then this is how you'll be doing. Right, then this is done. That's it. Done with notifications. Move on. So like I said, the educational contents, just a few posts, as you can see. Uh, the last one was 10th of July, and this one 24th. So not that much uh, as you get the MCQ test corrections, for example, and stuff like that. Uh, you get the latest live room we've made regarding uncertainty and impatience. All right, so just educational content in here. So you can set the notifications on, uh, obviously. Announcement is just when I want to ask you guys about something. Like, for example, in here is where you, ha you were able to vote uh, for uh, the actual... Um, educational content video that we've made so it was up to you to choose all right and you and the French users decided to vote for this one right you were more voting for a C option in here uh, simple all right you can vote just hanging here these things are just a click all right and you can go multiple clicks obviously you got multiple choices option if you want A or C you voted for this so so again, this is what we've made at this store. I, I sometimes will ask you for some feedbacks and stuff like that so you can orientate the educational content throughout what matters the most to you, all right? And obviously, I'm following the votes. It's just there were way more votes for A in the French community, uh, so I decided to follow the French guys instead. Anyway, uh, so announcement is where I strongly recommend you to turn on notifications. Then you've got the swing alerts and intraday alerts in which I simply send you some potential trades uh, scenario that you might be interested in, all right? Uh, so as you can see, there is a color code. I'll explain that later on. Uh, but this is how analysis must be posted throughout this Discord. You always have to follow this, all right? When you post an analysis, make sure you follow those rules. Otherwise, the moderators will send you some uh, um, warning signals obviously you're not going to be banned at the first warning but if you break the rules multiple times in a row then obviously you're going to be banned we're not here to be nice to uh, those who don't follow the rules you play by the rule in here and everything is going to be just fine we're all going to progress together if you're here to mess up with other users being irrespect to a fool or whatever you're just going to end up with a ban and it's it's always going to be complicated to to sign back up in because uh, it's going to require a verified phone number. So, if you're a troll or if you think about just messing around with the community, then yes, you can do it always. But you're going to lose quite some valuable time uh, as moderators will instantly ban you uh, anytime they figure you out, and uh, they're simply uh, just going to put you down. You're going to have to find another phone number, wait for 15 minutes to verify your account, and stuff like that. So very huge conditions uh, before actually being able to post into this Discord. Anyway, so how this thing works is that those channels you can post. It's just me. Like I said, I'm sending you notifications. No one else can post it here. And I always follow these rules. The, uh, the asset names, the, anchor, uh, the, the, the ticker name, the time frame, slash the time frame. Really important. We always trade into context, so we trade some specific time frames, and it's always necessary. Then I always tell you uh, to have a look at a bias, so you clearly should be able to see if I am bullish, bullish or bearish. That's a personal bias. I obviously agree with people trading in my opposite bias. The thing in here is that we're not here to impose our vision on any market, not to say this market is bullish or bearish. I don't want this type of fighting. Uh, it's more likely in here to talk about how we risk manage to make sure that everyone does the best out of it. So you can be bullish, you can be bearish. Don't try to fight people against that. That's not the point in here. We're just here to say, all right, either you're bullish or bearish, just make sure you risk manage. So this is how you do asset name, time frame, whether your, your vision is bullish or bearish, all right? And uh, the context you'll be trading, that's exactly my strategy's roles, all right? Uh, a bias, bullish or bearish, then the context you're going to use to favor this scenario. If you're bullish, you're going to favor buying the bottom of a range or selling the top if you're bearish, stuff like that. Or you're going to forecast some trending context. All right, so the context you trade range, trends, bullish range, bearish range, bullish trends, bearish trends, bubbles, uh, um, crashes. Uh, stuff like that. All right. So contextualize your market is absolutely necessary. We should be able to clearly read what kind of context you'll be using. 
then you need to explain us what technical filters you're going to be using. You can use my tools, but not necessarily them. We're not here just uh, in a bunch of sectorial people using uh, 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 all the indicators and stuff like that. We totally accept you using other indicators and other tools. All we care is for us, is for you to use my strategy, which means this simple three-step st uh, stuff, have a bias, Make yourself a context to figure this out so you don't trade range just like you trade trends. So at least you need to figure out what the current context is uh, or the forthcoming context could be. You need to explain what technical filters you've been using to filter out at least 80% of price and highlighting interesting speculative areas. You can use whichever indicators you want. I, deal, uh, I don't nearly give a shit. Just make sure that you're using reliable filters uh, at least. And then you need to have a signal once again, I don't nearly care about what kind of signal you'll be using. Just explain us what you're using and how and what is the pattern you use. Just make sure you put your trading scenario into something rational that someone else can be able to understand. All right? As long as you follow this, you give us a chart, you explain those stuff, and then everyone can either profit from it or give you some reviews because that's the point of this Discord. Sharing analysis, getting some feedback, and it's beneficial for everyone. If your scenario is great, then some people will follow you on this one and they'll benefit from your vision of the market that they didn't necessarily see because there are so many assets to trade into so many time frames, we cannot catch up on everything that is tradable. So in here, there's a community who's gonna share some opportunities whether you wanna take them or not really depends on you. It, it's obviously this, all right? Um, those channels will be used to this. The analysis channel is where people will post right and share their analysis both for global sharing or to get some feedback all right and you can obviously verify some others uh, scenarios and you can choose to follow them not follow them uh, or tell them they've been missing some rules and that's that's really great because some people in here are beginners so they really require quite some feedback because they're gonna ban some rules crack down the, the, the risk management and make it dangerous. So it's great to have feedback from more experienced users who's gonna tell you, all right, now you're taking way too much risk on this one. You really would like considering zooming out a bit of your chart or be less aggressive and stuff like that. So you're gonna get feedback from experienced users. How this feedback works is pure and simple. As you can see in here, you can't post. So these are analysis channels that you don't have access to. You can read the messages, obviously, all right, but you have absolutely no possibility to actually post in here. Uh, oh man, that's weird. I should be red. All right, that's odd. I should be I should be red posting in here. Uh, anyway, apparently I'm not, so I'll see something is definitely going wrong in here. Anyway, uh, so how this thing goes is that as you just got into Discord, you'll be applied with a white color, right? You got when you're gonna post you'll be white, just like you are, right? So when you get in, some channels will be blocked to you, specifically those analysis channel with a tiny arrow preceding them. Simply because we had some moderation problem back in the days and the moderators were really pissed off by people uh, spamming and chatting into the analysis channel, so we decided to change that. Now, when you start, you're gonna be a first class, you're gonna be a yellow, uh, white collar, and you got to, you're gonna have to prove us that you deserve a higher degree of uh, confidence into this Discord. It comes with the color code, so you start white, then you're gonna get green, right? You can turn this one on and off, all right? Uh, green, then you get yellow and orange, and you get dark orange results just for the moderators. So the thing, the thing in here is pure and simply this. All right, this is not to say we're in, in a pyramid scheme organization. Nothing like that. It's just maturity in trading uh, uh, rewards. All right, it's just not something to brag yourself and say, oh, I'm a yellow person, so I'm important into this Discord. That's definitely not the case. It just shows traders' maturity for you to know who you're talking to all right simple as that the guys who are in yellow uh, um, are obviously more uh, experienced than the guys that are just uh, green so you start white because you're gonna have to prove us that you understand how this thing works and that you want to benefit from it and help others so in order to get from yellow to green though to have access to the analysis channels 
You can approve us that you understand how this thing works. What we'll ask you is to post approximately 50 analysis. Following, like we said, GBP, CAD, H4, whatever, you explain us what your trading scenario is. People will review it. They'll use these things, all right, which is reactions, all right, okay or not okay. When you get into an analysis channel, only experienced users, so yellow guys or higher will be able to put reactions below your charts all right so they'll be putting a reaction that will show up right below so this is how you're going to get feedback from more important uh, for, for more experienced users they'll give you an okay or not okay sign in here telling you okay that's fine your risk management seems good enough to trigger this trade at least you're following a decent risk management or you not you might be breaking some rules of the strategy and there will never be a not okay without an explanation people aren't just here to criticize you they're here to help you progress that's what we do here we want people to progress altogether so the more experienced users are consolidating their knowledge by helping helping the newest ones who might making some mistakes so they help you being in a decent framework to progress all right it's always to help you getting better not to put you down otherwise you might be uh, wanting to tell me if someone is getting nasty on you because you're making mistakes just tell me I'll tell him to be nice to you because we're all here to progress not to be uh, nasty each other against each other all right so play safe play nice as long as you're here to make everyone progress then i'm really fine with that just be nice to those orange guys and stuff like that right these guys are really experienced they have their own strategies they've been using mine to get to this and now they've been making it personal uh, uh so some of them are still using my indicators so some didn't even nearly use them anymore all right it's, it's just they progressed using my educational content and my strategy as a starting framework as a starting point and now they've been so mature that they actually built their own strategy either partly using mine or some just went to their own a destination all right but these guys are experienced enough so they understand risk management and stuff like that so consider this as a grade of what how, how, how far you are into the process of learning um, trading throughout my strategy so you start white you got to prove me that you understand how my strategy works by putting out some analysis at least 50 of them and you'll need to have most of them being validated setting uh, okay you're gonna simply ask any yellow person you can simply do this like Rimco is logged in actually right now you can mention it right at mention you would say at Rimco and you sell him uh, I'm white and I'd like to apply for green simple as that all right simply you've put it at least 50 analysis out there most of them were positively reviewed so you can ask to become a green it means that you understand how my strategy works you're able to apply it into multiple markets uh, you can use the replay function into trading view uh, all we care about is that you put us some charts with respecting the strategy's rules explain that to someone else and they'll review the trades for you they'll help you progress once you get yourselves green mean you understand the strategy first step of your process to eventually someday become a trader you first need to figure out the goddamn strategy though you get green now how do you get r yellow afterwards this means those guys have been applying the strategy more than enough so they actually traded so much that they figured out that risk management is the only thing that can provide sustainable gain into trading they basically traded so much that they've been trying to tweak the strategy rules uh, tweaking the buttons uh, bending some rules and they started to figure out that the more you bend the rules the less it works so that's what you need to figure out but in order to figure this out you really need to trade the most when you get the yellow color means that you've traded long enough to actually understand that risk management it was is is the only thing that provides the gains it's not being good or having some gut trading feelings and stuff like that it's just that as long as you risk manage you're always going to get profitable trades it's just a matter of time before you get something to work fine you're always going to have trades that doesn't work fine but as long as you risk manage you always gain way more than what you can lose when you're wrong and you understand that right wrong doesn't nearly give a shit about uh, trading is not about that uh, you also um, need uh, in order to get yellow to figure out that uncertainty is not even a problem 
I said, uncertainty is a mental state that every beginner will have. You're going to have to fear uncertainty. Uh, it's going to create some stress. As long as you feel stress for f facing uncertainty, it means you're not yet yellow ready. Whenever you figured out risk management, fear of uncertainty, no, not even a problem anymore, all right? At this stage, you'll say, all right, I'm mature enough to apply for yellow. I think I really understand what this is, all right? But don't say, all right, I just got green two weeks ago, so I'm ready to be, uh, to be yellow. It definitely isn't the case. You might want to be yellow uh, too early, but like I said, it's not a reward. It's just uh, the only thing that matters in here is how you actually progress. So you, you might want to apply to be an orange people, but if you actually are not in the reality, who gives a shit about the color you have into Discord? <laughs> Discord is not rewarding. What we care is that you're mature enough to actually be profitable in trading. That's what we do, all right? If you want to uh, rush the steps, then yes, you will apply for better colors, but Actually, in the background, you'll still won't be profitable in trading. So what we care in here is for you to move step by step, slowly but steadily, heading toward the final targets that you must be seeking to eventually someday become a trader and become like those guys, all right? So learn from those guys. Don't try to rush to them. That's not the point in here. The faster you want to go there, the less good you're going to be, and probably the the faster you're going to end up being pushed out by the market. So, all right, then is how you understand risk management. Those guys, they, it means that, all right, they got it with the risk management. They are, they're rarely going to make mistakes in how they apply the strategy. They understood that this is not just black or white. It's not just buying and selling, that there are some riskier scenarios in which we put lower leverages, more aggressive signals. They really understand the shaded gray areas. Uh, of this strategy uh, and they're going to be able to take a little bit more risky trades all right as long as you're not yellow you don't even consider trading reversals or trading uh, immature ranges uh, uh, and stuff like that right these guys are going to take more aggressive trades right because they know how risk management works they experienced enough to take those risks if you try to get to those risks when you're just a yellow guy uh, a, a white guy or uh, or a green guy then it's too much risk for you to handle so there is a call of code that I'm using when I'm posting like for example this trade is for call nettles only all right these are for the guys who understand risk management this is not a trade for beginners it's really important for you to understand there's a color code this is a trade for everyone right this is a trade only for experienced traders uh, this is an average trade so it requires to really apply for the strategy and be uh, and be aware to know it and some scenarios will, will have different uh, application uh, um, in here, as for example, I said, not even a single white guy to take this trade, obviously under VIX, trying to catch this goddamn reversal, all right? So I post content for each and every level of difficulty. This is how this is really uh, complicated for me to handle this community without this color code because I cannot just spread some knowledge because some knowledge is designed to be heading for some specific people that I want them to force taking more risk or it's designed for some beginners that it's say, right, it's a lower straight, everyone can go down this road and stuff like that, all right? So really apply for the stuff that matters to you and just flush out the others, all right? It's really important for you not to try taking those trades if you're just a beginner. Then you can get a general, which means those guys is the highest level of understanding, which means they understood uh, how the strategy works, they understood how money management works, and they actually traded uh, riskier trades, so they're able to manage risk as well. Because when you get to understand how risk management works, instead of using leverage, you rather like to take more risks. So those guys understand how to uh, trade reversals, they know how to do it, they know how to handle position sizing, risk managing, they're really good at it. So at this point, they're traders. So what do they do? They make it personal. I force those guys to take more risk. I force those guys to use side, side uh, strategies to combine and make their own mixtures. So you'll see those guys using part of my strategy and mixed it with some other stuff. Uh, so they made it personal, right? I helped them get to get there and now they're here to nicely share with others. So understand that if you piss off one of those guys, I'm going to put you off this discord pretty much instantly. You don't piss off those guys, all right? They're here, they're experienced, they're here to share simply because 
they're good people so they're here to help you they know how to do their shit and they're just here to help you getting better at trading so don't piss those guys off or i'll take you down this discord pretty much instantly all right that's the only rule in here all right those guys are here for the benefit of everyone so make sure you at least listen to them when they tell you something they're not here to put you down they're just here to put you up all right so be nice to those guys and if you're not I'm gonna put you out instantly all right now regarding moderation rules in here and then we'll stop all right all those channels that I have absolutely no uh, preceding signal all right these are absolutely free all right in here there's only one rule you can say whatever the fuck you want I don't really give a shit no one in here will uh, uh, will moderate your, pro your, your words uh, as long as you respect this simple rule just respect that's all we ask you in here you can say whatever you want you can be bullish or bearish you can criticize someone else's vision in here you can freely express your feelings or whatever all right the only thing you need to respect is others you don't respect others moderators will come down will put you a, a warning sign and if you don't respect another time you're out all right too many people into this discord we're more than 5,000 so if I have to put some people out I will without a question all right the moderators have only one thing in here if you don't respect others just do this you see someone spamming or being real nasty with someone you do this at moderator all right and you say, as for example, said Lupin is being very irrespectful. Irrespectful. Please moderate. All right. You do just like this. The moderators don't give a shit about what happens in there. It's up to you when you see someone not respecting the rules or not respecting not respecting others then you just signal them to moderators and the moderators will do their job they give us a, they'll give him a warning and if he, if the guys gaze it, uh, does it again then out simple as that right we're not here to waste our times more than anything else so all those channels you're absolutely free to talk as long as you talk uh, with respect then like i said analysis general is where the white guys will put their analysis for uh um, for review, uh, I'll have to say the, the green guys are not su supposed to post in analysis general. I'll have to tell. Oh no! All right. So once you get green colored, you gotta have to post in there, right? Post in the specific channel. You make an analysis regarding cryptocurrencies. This is where you want to post it. All right. So this is for validated users. This is where you post. The analysis general is just for white guys to post to get to post those their 50 analysis, getting feedback to eventually apply for a green color. All right. You should be aware that each guy that has a higher level of color than you can apply the color to you. All right. So if you're green and you want to become, uh, uh, you think you deserve the yellow color, then prove your uh, prove that you decide that you deserve it and ask anyone with a uh, higher degree. All right. You ask the orange guys; they can give you the yellow color. Simple as that. All right. So that's it. That's how it works. Uh, I hope you understand how this thing is has been designed for. So call the code so you can understand how mature each and every people you are talking to are. Uh, uh, we're here for feedback and helping you getting better. We're not here to put you down. Yeah, we would appreciate if you were playing the rules actually as well, which means you get here to get better at trading. I would pretty damn appreciate if you would like to stay there afterwards. Once you got better at trading, that you share the knowledge you gathered in here to help others that will come forward in time to get better as well. So think of it like a community. People will help you get better. So if you could please uh, then do it as well when the time comes for you to help others that will come later I would really appreciate that but you're of, course, you're of course free to get here and just remain silent a lot of people in here are remaining silent you're free to do it but you must be aware of something when you share you're definitely gonna be learning way faster than remaining silent alright so put your ass out there give us some analysis seek for feedback try to learn be patient don't try to rush things up throughout the, the discord it's more likely a battle against yourself that you're gonna lead all right uh, that's what we want here and just to make it finalized all right so you got some meetings that we can be doing uh, at some point so this one is French but it's basically uh, saying if you want to meet me out in Toulouse in France all right but these are things that we can be doing here and there because I'm traveling and when I'm traveling I'm absolutely uh, um, open to meeting you guys out there all right 
Uh, like I said, I'm not hiding myself behind my computer. Uh, if you want to meet me in person, then I'm totally fine with that. Uh, like I said, when I went to Geneva, I met the users out there with great pleasure and stuff like that, right? These are also circles and communities that you can create in those areas. Uh, like, for example, you live in Quebec, uh, you want to meet other guys out there, you can use those meeting channels to exchange with other users, obviously, all right? Uh, we make it final with the handles. So as for example, if you get in here and you want to notify whoever is in this channel, you're going to use the at here, all right? At here, uh, I can't use this as a white guy, all right? But when you set this, it's basically going to notify whoever has been posting in this thing, all right? Simple as that. So that's how you do stuff in here. Anyway, uh, that's it. I hope you understand how this thing works. I hope that you're going to respect the rules. If you're not, then you're going to end up banned, and that's just too bad either for, uh, for, for everyone. All right? So we're not here to waste our time, neither do you. I hope we're here to learn. I hope you're here to help others learning faster as well. Uh, we're just here to get better. So if you play by the rule, we can all be profitable, uh, and that's definitely the goal that we're chasing in here. Bye, guys. Uh, oh, sorry, in the live room. I should have uh, talked about that. Sorry. So the live room is a simple audio chat. You just click on this channel as you've been, you've been joining in, right? Uh, the, the rule is simple in here. You're not, you must be pushed to talk, all right? So in here, you got in the voice and video uh, settings, and you have choice to either voice detection or push to talk. You're going to be forced to be pushed to talk to get into those channels, uh, which means you have to press a button to talk, all right? It avoids people uh, having background noises and stuff like that. So when you get here, you can freely talk with whoever is in here. Some people will be there chatting about some scalping scenarios or whatever. You can freely exchange with them. If you want a real-time talk with anyone in the Discord, uh, you can message them. Like, for example, you want to talk with Jansen, send him a message. Say, all right, Jansen, uh, could we meet uh, in the live room? All right. Uh, you can use a hashtag. All right. It gives, it gives a direct link to the channel, all right? Set enter, and Jansen is going to be uh, meeting you in the live room if he's available, of course, all right? So that's how simple this thing is. This is how handy this is. You're going to get more familiar with this stuff, obviously, as the time comes. Uh, this chatting system is really the most perfect one I've ever came across. So we can make something great out here. Uh, just make sure you understand how this thing works. Do it well, and we're, like I said, all going to be profitable. Anyway, I wish you a good learning into trading. I hope you like this community. I hope you'll stay there as long as possible and help others. And if you don't, just simply click in here and leave the server. That's simple as that. Bye, guys.